Hi, I'm the Dreaded Geek. Welcome back. As I mentioned in another video earlier, I got to go to PAX over, over Labor Day weekend. And uh, I bought the new Shadowrun deck building game there. Um, I have no idea what's inside the box. I've heard people saying it's quite interesting and exciting, so I thought I would film an unboxing just in case it's worth seeing. Shadowrun is a long time favorite world of mine. Deck building games are one of my new favorite things. And cooperative games are the games I get to play the most often. So a Shadow, Shadowrun cooperative deck building game sounded like something I had to try. Let's see what's in here. Shadowrun Online. There's a code for an exclusive pre-release um, weapon for Shadowrun Online. A group of uh, a little booklet of adverts for various various other games. Nice little short story. An introduction to the Shadowrun universe. the rule book. This is a lot of rule book. I'm hoping that some of this is uh, scenario setup. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mission goals. This is basically scenario setup. It's not too bad. It's only about half rules, I think. Half play rules, anyway. The uh, interesting aspect of this game is that your characters level from game to game, much like the role-playing game. Oh. Nice quality punch board tokens. And nicely punched as well, they're nearly ready to fall out. Okay. It would be nice of them to include sleeves in the game, but there's just enough of the sleeves to really be an advert for Alpha Pro. Hmm. I'm curious how this is a deck building game with this few cards. But I'll find out soon, I guess. And these are the character sheets. So each character has a character sheet that has space on the sheet for various upgrades. The upgrades come in the form of stickers.
that are peeled off and that are peeled off and stuck onto the upgrade slots on the character sheets. It seemed to me when I first heard about this game and how it worked that these stickers would be removable, that you would reset the game back to the beginning whenever you started a new game. But that's not how this was designed. These characters get upgraded, they get upgraded permanently, and for that matter you only seem to have two of each upgrade, so choosing which characters to give your upgrades to is just as important as choosing which upgrades to give to your characters. Like the numbers are variable, some of them only have one, a couple have three, but on the whole it looks like two of everything for the most part. I'm not sure how the concept of permanent change to characters as you're playing the game is going to play out. Um, I'm not sure how well that will scale. There may be rules about scaling the, the game to stay with the characters. Um, I guess I'll find out when I finally get to play it. Um, it seems like a strange mechanic to me. It seems like a strange combination of the role-playing game with this deck-building game. And I'm not convinced that it can work mechanically. It's an exciting new thing to try, and I'm looking forward to trying it and finding out. And as soon as I do, I will make sure to do a review of it so that you can all find out as well. So watch this space, and sometime, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I will get that review done and up. And that has been an unboxing of Shadowrun Crossfire, a cooperative deck building game. And I am the dreaded geek. Thanks for watching. Geek.